Hello everybody. In this section, I will be talking about discretization of a continuous beam. Uh, consider that we have a long beam uh, made of polycarbonate and it is 4 inch wide and it has a uniform and that it has a uniform cross section of 1 fourth inch thickness and that it's 10 meter long. Now this beam it has to be discretized as an equivalent spring mass system. Let's assume that let's assume that the mass is denoted by m, stiffness of the springs by k, and that the length of the lattice is L. At this point, let's assume that the lattice length required L is 1 millimeter. Now, although there is a condition that has to be satisfied to choose this length, let's assume that it has been satisfied. Uh, and that 1 millimeter is required value for L. Now, because this is 1 millimeter and the total length is actually 10 meters, then the number of mass required would be N equals 10 meters by 1 millimeter, which means 10 or uh, 10 raised to 4 mass will be required to sufficiently, sufficiently represent this mass. And each of those mass is equal to the total mass of the beam divided by 10 raised to 4 and the mass of the beam is the volume of the beam multiplied by the density divided by 10 raised to 4. Uh, let's remember that elastic modulus of polycarbonate is known to be 0.2 into 10 raised to 9 Pascal and that density of polycarbonate is 1200 kg per meter cube. Now the volume can be found by multiplying length, width and uh, depth and by because we have the value of rho that is the density you can directly get the value of this whole thing and that will be 0 0.77 uh, into 10 raised to minus 3 kg. So that is the mass, the discretization mass. Uh, let me write that down here. L is 10 raised to minus 3 meter, that's 1 millimeter, and that um, 10 raised to 4 such mass are needed, and that each mass is 0 0.77 into 10 raised to minus 3 kg. Now that we know how we obtain, I'll get rid of that. Uh, the next important parameter that we have to um, find out is k. To find out k, let's remember that the bar velocity c is under root e or rho and that for a given uh, piece of material of cross-sectional area A and length L, if E is known for that material, if we had to represent it as stiffness, then that K would be A E divided by L. Using that same um, relation and plugging that into this equation, uh, this means E is K L over K. If we just plug this in here, then we will obtain that C is under root K L over K multiplied by rho. Density is mass over volume and volume is area times length. So that gives C is L times root K over M. 
So let's highlight that. Um, now we know how we got there. So I'm gonna save that off. All right. So because C is under root k, uh, L root k over M, and because C is under root E or rho. For the beam, which is made of polycarbonate, where E and rho are known, this is approximately 1350 meter per second. Then, now, in this equation, C is known, length L is known, mass M is known. Finding K is just straightforward. So, then, we can just directly find the value of k and uh, I obtained it to be 1.4 into 10 raised to 9 newton per meter. And that's how we can discretize this continuous beam into equivalent spring mass system. Uh, it's also called as uh, 1D lump parameter model. So that's how it is done.